Alright, I meant to make this video like months, months and months ago. Probably around Christmas time is when I actually put all these notes down on my phone. I just found this, but today we're gonna do this. We're gonna go over all the games that you should be looking for for your younger children. We're talking kids maybe four, five, six, seven, eight, even some for kids a little bit younger. But I got a good list here. We're gonna go over it right now. What's up guys, welcome back or welcome in for the first time. Do me a favor, jump down in the description of this video. There's a link down there to our podcast. We do a podcast over on that channel every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can catch us live then or on the podcast platform of your choice, but let's uh, let's get into this. I wanna get this one out of the way first because this one comes with a little bit, a little bit more. This one's not gonna be just hand it to your kids and let them play. A lot of these actually won't be. This one especially though, but it is it is a very good kids game. Animal Crossing New Horizons is one that people of just about any age can play. The problem with this game, especially in the beginning, is there is a lot of reading. There is a lot of learning what you need to be doing. And as you go through the main story, the, the main part of the game, there's a lot of reading. There's a lot of tasks you have to figure out how to do. So this one's going to be a little bit more involved. You're going to have to kind of be there and make sure that you're helping out with this one, especially at first. Once you get through the first part of the game, though, then you can pretty much build whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Once you get to that point, they can pretty much go on their own. But up until then, there is some reading. Probably going to have to help with that one. All right, the next one. This one is good for literally anybody. You could put a controller in the hands of a baby and, and they can still play this game as long as you have it set up correctly. I'm talking about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. There are so many options with this game. You can turn driving assist on. You can turn it on so you can only use motion controls. You don't even have to press A to go. It will just go for you. It'll keep you on the track. You can let anyone play this. Honestly, I let my three-year-old play this. She's a lot better at it now that she's had that experience and then moved up to, you know, actually steering. And now she plays the game on her own. Same with actually all of my kids. They all started out on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And now they all play it actually really well. So that one's definitely going to be good for kids of all ages. There's online racing. There's all kinds of cars to unlock. So th this is one that's going to keep them busy for a long time. Especially if you have multiple kids and they're playing together. This, this is definitely one to pick up for sure. All right. Now these next ones, these are going to be geared towards definitely younger kids. These are very... Very easy games. My my four year old plays some of these games. She's kind of growing out of these too. She's you know, she's more into the Mario Kart and the, the other things. But I'm talking about basically anything from Outright Games. So that's gonna be the Peppa Pig game. They've got PJ Masks. They've got Blaze in the Monster Machine. They've got a Coca Melon game. Race with Ryan. They've got all kinds of games that are based off stuff on you know the Disney Channel. Nickelodeon, all things for very young kids who they're gonna identify with that type of stuff. They're gonna they're gonna notice those characters. They're going to they're gonna want to play those games a little bit more. They are very, very easy games. And something else you may want to think about before buying some of these games. I know a lot of those games, uh, the Paw Patrol games for sure. They are on Xbox Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass, you can go check these games out and let your kids try them out before you even buy them. Usually they go on sale. They're pretty reasonably priced anyways. But these these are going to be very good for, for very young children. You've got three-year-olds, four-year-olds who, who want to get into playing some Nintendo Switch games. That's definitely a good place to start. Now, one that is a little bit more challenging, especially the further you get into the game, but also pretty easy to play. Not a lot of reading. It's pretty self-explanatory. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. This one, this one is good for people of all ages. I, I really like this game. I know all my kids really enjoyed it. It does get a little bit more difficult the further in that you get. So, so some of the puzzles they may need your help with, but as you go through and you learn kind of what happens in levels, you start to pick up on where things might be, what you might be missing. So it's not it's not crazy hard. This one will give them a little bit of a challenge, but again, no reading, nothing like that. No, there's not a big story, so you don't have to worry about, you know, anybody missing anything with that. And let's uh let's jump right into the other ones that don't really have any story at all, but these are also very good for kids. My 7-year-old is playing both of these right now. I'm talking about Mario Odyssey and Super Mario 3D World. Both of these are fantastic. Now, my seven-year-old started out with Mario 3D World. She really, really likes that. She's been playing that one. She didn't really like Bowser's Fury that much. That's that's my favorite part of the game. This is one that she played on her own, and she got very, very far in the game without 
really any of my help at all. She is actually at she's at Bowser's castle right now, but she doesn't have enough stars to get in. So she's kind of going back, trying to get more of the stars that she didn't get in the other levels. And you know, she's ha she's had to get some of my help with that. But for the most part, she's done this one basically on her own. But she kind of got sick of going after those things. So she moved on to Mario Odyssey, which she's really, really liking. She's made it three or four levels deep, doing all of it basically herself. There's no story there. There's nothing to read, really. Little tiny things, and you know, seven years old. She can read. You know, she's not quite ready for Tears of the Kingdom or anything like that. But, you know, it's, it's just enough to where she can handle it herself and, and, and have a good time. And not get lost. And that's that's kind of the point here. That's kind of the point of all of these games. You know, kids do want to play, but th they do get lost. And then they have to come to you for help all the time. And then it's like, you know, who's playing the game? <laughs> are we playing the game or are they? These these all are going to be really good for that. This one, this one might be a little advanced. Maybe for, maybe for a little bit older kids. But it's very good, especially for Star Wars fans. The Skywalker Saga, the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga is fantastic. It is the best Lego game that they've ever put out. It, there, there's basically nine games in one, and they are they are a ton of fun. This one is a game that's also on sale a ton. Actually, I think it's on sale right now, depending on when you're watching this video. That's a very good one. Another one that I want to talk about that's a, a little bit newer game. Actually, there's two. I'm talking about Kirby and the Forgotten Land. All my kids love that game, and it is it's it's pretty easy. It's not it's not very difficult. It's even easier than Odyssey or 3D World. So moving through that game should not be really a problem for younger kids. That's a really good one. Honestly, any Kirby game. What was the one before that? Star Allies. That's that's more of a side-scrolling Kirby game. Also very easy, very kid-friendly. That one might be a little bit too easy though, but another one, another Kirby game that my kids have really, really fallen in love with is Kirby's Dream Buffet. It probably should be a, a free to play game. It's only 15 bucks on the eShop, but they absolutely love it. My four year old plays that game non-stop. Like that is her game. She is all about that game. She really, really likes it. Once you get the hang of it, I mean, she's gotten pretty good at it. You know, it's still, Still enough of a challenge to her that she doesn't win every single time, but she really does enjoy it. She likes, you know, unlocking the different colored Kirbys and their outfits and all the other stuff that comes along as you get further in the game. She's really enjoying that one. So any of the Kirby games, maybe for the older kids, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, for the younger ones, Dream Buffet is good, Star Allies, probably going to be a better one if you want to do, a, you know, a full game, not just like a mini game style game like Dream Buffet is. Go with Star Allies for the younger kids. Now there are a bunch of great games on the Switch for younger kids, and they're not all on this list. So if there are any that I missed, make sure you put them in the comments below, but I do have one more that I think is a very good one for younger kids, and it's Yoshi's Crafted World. This one does get a little bit more difficult as you go on, but again, it's kind of in the same realm as Kirby Star Allies. It's not quite that easy, but it is a side-scrolling game. It does have a little bit of more of like a front-to-back sort of 3D element to it, and you, there's hidden secrets you have to unlock that are kind of further back in or you know up close You kind of have to pay attention and look at what's around you, but this one is it's very good I I bought this one when it came out. I played through it. I enjoyed it My kids really like this one, too But like I said this one will be a little bit more of a challenge than something like star allies I would say it's on the same level as Kirby in the Forgotten Land maybe honestly a little bit more difficult But I don't think it's anything that a seven or eight year old couldn't handle so like I said that, that's my quick list. I've had this in my notes on my phone forever. I've been meaning to make this video for a long time. We got it out here now, but if there are any other games that you think younger kids can play, easy. Put them down in the comments. I'm sure the people who are watching this video want as many options as they possibly can have. So make sure if you are looking for these games, you're looking down in the comments. If you know more, leave them in the comments. But guys, that is going to do it for this one. As always, thank you. So much for watching this video. Please leave a like. Make sure you are subscribed. See you in the next one.